As the mainstream media whines and cries and lies about the global warming going on in the world, what we really see is a different story when we look at what is going on. Wanted to do a quick update here on some of the weather events for the many ices that we're already seeing take place right now. Here we see going on currently that winter storm Gaia eyes a 1500 mile path dropping more than 18 inches of snow and kills seven people, of course, causing bad weather delays. Just a huge storm bringing bad weather to a lot of the United States. 18 inches of snow in Missouri, eight inches of snow in Kansas City, as well as five to 10 inches of snow in Maryland. I mean, the storm's bad. It's just hitting all over. And yet the mainstream media still continues to pump out articles day after day about global warming, yet we see no evidence of it whatsoever. And anybody in the comments section who wants to tell me that global warming is causing all these crazy snowstorms and cold temperatures, I don't want to hear it really. I mean, you can, do, you can leave the comment if you want, of course, but I don't fall under the category of the 1984 brainwashing state-run thinking that you do, where cold means hot, yes means no, Freedom means slavery. I just, I don't fall under that category. So when I read those comments, they're really pretty useless to me because a warming earth should not be causing extreme snows and record colds. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Warming does not mean cooling. Warming does not mean record lows or record snows. The earth's weather is determined based off of the sun and how the sun acts. And due to low sunspots, we get colder weather and we're going into it even further with the next grand solar minimum. Looking at other weather, since the beginning of the new year, major winter storms hitting across the entire earth, the US, Canada, Mexico, Iran, Turkey, India, and across Europe. Just look at some of these pictures of the absolutely insane snow that they are getting across the world. Here's a picture in Austria. The snow has completely buried these cars and these houses. I mean, look at that. Does that look like it's due to global warming? Does this look like this is what global warming is supposed to look like? I don't think so. In Iran, 17 provinces blocked by snowstorms. Five of those provinces were also flooded, leading to the death of one person. We also see avalanche warnings across British Columbia and the Sierra Nevada mountains. Italy as well being hit with six feet of snow on January 4th. I mean, it, it goes on and on and on. And like the mainstream media loves to whine and cry about the global warming going on, it's a control and a money agenda. If you haven't seen that yet, then you aren't paying attention. Also, we can look that Israel had record snow as well. So it just continues to go on and on. Everything in state-run media says that the world is collapsing because of global warming, the polar bears are dying, and it's all our fault. And of course, those in power can come in to control us more and to take our money. Those are the answers to global warming. And it's funny, people wonder why they're not getting the true news on what's going on in the world about the extreme colds and the record snows. But those are the same people that thinks that the government would probably never do anything to hurt them. And they just don't look at history as every single time that tends to happen when they gain too much control. and doesn't tend to happen, it happens. So that's what we're seeing. More record snows, more record storms, more record lows. It just continues to get colder and it's only going to get colder in the future. People should be preparing for these times and be, and be thinking about these things coming because that's what's going to be going on. Thanks for watching. God bless.